Chairman, uh, I would take a bit of umbrage at the gentleman's characterization that uh, we don't want people to self-enrich uh, at public expense because so, ultimately the uh, the costs of the uh, ATO, $11 billion a year today, let's say they're 20 percent more efficient, you know, whatever, $9 billion will be extracted from mostly the flying public and minimally from other users. And uh, to say that uh, there could be a member of the board who could self-enrich, uh, that is a massive stockholder in uh, one or another of the, uh, uh, you know, basically the entities dependent upon the ATC system, whether it be cargo or, uh, you know, or uh, other delivery or, uh, or commercial aviation, uh, I, I think is uh, really, and to say they have to be monks, no, we don't think they have to be monks, but we don't think they should be able to have direct conflicts of interest in voting. Uh, it's pretty customary in any kind of public interest body, and I would hope that someone who controls the ATO of the United States of America will be considered a public interest body, uh, you know, declare conflicts minimally, or if they have a substantial conflict, uh, they refrain from voting. Uh, and, uh, you know, therefore, I would strongly uh, support this amendment uh, because, again, this is a unique entity. If the Ways and Means Committee passes on this and it goes forward, uh, the expectation is Congress will repeal the ticket tax. That raises $11 billion a year and in a progressive way because if you buy a cheaper ticket, you know, you pay less. If you buy a more expensive ticket, you pay more. Uh, it may move to a capitated basis, which means coach people who are being crammed into crummy little seats in uncomfortable airplanes with no amenities uh, will be paying more to get places, uh, and, you know, that's a, a major concern with how we move forward. And then to say, well, someone who has a direct conflict of interest, someone who owns a tremendous amount of stock in a commercial airline can vote on the board for a commercial airline interest, uh, really, to me, that's not monkhood. Uh, that's not uh, a bad mentality. That's uh, protecting the public interest, which Congress will no longer be allowed to do. The fees will be set by the corporation with no input by the elected representatives of the people of the United States of America. It is beyond me why any elected representative would say, I want to delegate this to a private entity and I'll have no control. And if people come to me saying, wait a minute, this is really unfair, I say, oh, well, go to the next corporate board meeting if they allow comments from the public. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank the gentleman for appointing.